Hello, it's Lorraine Valera. Welcome to part three of our mindfulness meditation series introduction. Today, we are going to be focusing on something very important, which is our emotions and how we can begin to mindfully observe and accept our emotions. So just like with the other videos, um, we're going to be doing a meditation and I'm just going to provide a little bit of background first. So it's interesting with emotions, just like our breath and our body, like we talked about before, they're always with us. However, just like breath and body, we tend to sometimes not, or a lot of times not feel connected with our emotions. And it's easy to go through life feeling like we are not in control and we have no idea what's going inside, what's going on inside of us. And a lot of times people tend to live in extremes um, where either you suppress your emotions consistently and you might feel like you're numb, you don't feel anything. Um, and we know what can happen when we do that. Um, it's like imagine our emotion um, is knocking at our door, knowing that we're home and we're not answering. Um, they're going to keep knocking louder until we address it, right? Um, so that can be problematic. And then the other extreme is getting caught up in our emotions, getting over attached to our emotions. And often what happens with that is where we start to feel like there's so many phrases on this. We're in an emotional roller coaster or we're getting caught up in the feels and it can really feel like you're a victim of your emotions and like you're not in control at all, right? So also we can feel like we're just not connected to our emotions and the intensity of them. And that's where a lot of times you might hear someone say, I go from zero to 100 like this, absolutely no warning. And that's really never the case because there's always warning signs within our body. Um, our breath might start to increase in, um, our breath start, might start to become more rapid or shallow. Our bodies might start to experience the sensations of our emotions, like maybe you get butterflies in your stomach, or your heart starts racing, or your hands feel hot. So you can tell that there's a lot of power in just beginning to listen to what's going on in your body and your emotions, right? So. Our emotions are here to send us a message. And if we're not addressing this message, then they continue to find ways to get to us until we are going to give it attention. So before we get started with the meditation, I wanted to just share a personal um, story that might help to kind of explain how this can go. And of course, it's different for everyone. So this doesn't mean that your experience has to be just like this. But today, when I was doing uh, my mindfulness meditation for emotions, I had a, a pretty interesting experience. Um, I've been experiencing a lot of emotions lately because I have a lot of things on my plate that I'm working on at once. And so first, I just took a second to just notice my breathing and just really get in tune with that, make sure that I'm breathing deeply. Then I started to notice what's happening in my body, areas that need softening. Once I started to give attention to my emotions, something different happened. Normally I have one or two kind of come up for me right away. And this time it felt like there was an emotional party going on and just everyone was fighting for the microphone. And so it was a little overwhelming at first. And I just had to take a step back and just be the observer and just notice them as they ebbed and flowed through me. And as I started to do this, I started to notice there were three frequent flyers that continued to come up consistently. And the first one was fear. So what I did was just broke it down and just addressed them one by one, starting with fear. 
and in the moment, it seems that fear was outside of my door, and I was hesitant to let it in, but I went ahead and opened the door, and I said, come in, and I invited fear to sit down, and I looked fear right in the eyes, compassionately, like I would look a dear friend who needs my assistance with something, who's really struggling with something, and I just listened to what it had to say to me, and there was a lot that it had to say to me. And after I listened, just like I would with a dear friend, I was just compassionate and just held space. And I told it what I needed from it. And I could just continue to do this with the other emotions and really allow myself to go there. Instead of, sometimes I might in the past have said, you know, I'm strong, I don't need you fear, go away. Or I might have said, you know, you're not here, no, I'm good, I'm good, I can get through this and just kind of ignored it. This time I'm really just allowing myself to embrace it um, along with the other emotions and just, it felt very connected. And so you may not be at the place yet where you are wanting to have a conversation with your emotions. You might say like, whoa, Lauren, that's a little out there. But I just invite you to be observant of your emotions and just at least notice them ebbing and flowing through you. And if nothing comes up for you, that's okay as well. Just be here. Begin to settle in, finding a comfortable seat or maybe laying down. You may close your eyes or find a comfortable gaze in front of you. And as you're settling in, begin to bring awareness to your breath. Maybe you place your hands on your stomach. Simply just feeling the rise and the fall of your belly as you're breathing. Now, begin to bring awareness to your body, starting with the crown of your head, noticing any areas that need softening. Maybe even breathing into those areas. And as you exhale, letting go of any tension you're feeling there. And now I invite you to bring awareness to your emotions. Noticing any emotions that you're experiencing in your body right now. Perhaps there's a few that are coming up. Maybe one that's coming up really strong for you. Maybe you're not feeling anything at all. Whatever's happening is the way it should be. Just notice any sensations that are coming up for you. No matter what you're feeling, I invite you to place your hands over your heart. As you continue breathing deeply, just fully embrace this feeling right now. And if you've connected with an emotion, 
allow yourself to fully feel this emotion, even if it's an uncomfortable one. I invite you to lean into it. Is there a message it wants to tell you? Maybe there's a message you have for the emotion. Or maybe you just simply hold space. Continuing to breathe deeply from your belly. Breathing out anything that no longer serves you. Maybe as you're placing your hand on your heart, maybe you say something to yourself such as, I hear you, I see you, and I accept you, just as you are. If any thoughts or stories are coming up for you, just simply notice and practice gratitude being able to recognize what's happening within you. Bring your awareness back to your breath. As any new feelings or emotions arise for you, just continue to lean into them and embrace them just as they are. You may even give yourself a gentle hug. Notice if there's any shifts or changes as you begin to practice acceptance with your emotions. I'll leave you for a few breaths to continue this practice. When you're ready, begin to wrap up any conversations you're having with your emotions or they're going to be here. You can continue those at any time and begin to bring awareness into your body, maybe wiggling your fingers. Maybe beginning to roll your shoulders back. Slowly flutter your eyes open and return your attention to the room. 
Thank you again for joining me on our third edition of Mindfulness Meditation. I'm having so much fun with you and look forward to working with you on thoughts, which is our next topic. The light in me honors and bows down to the light in you. Namaste.